There's the potatoes. Here comes the spuds. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is July the 3rd. So today, we are going to sell a produce. We're going to sell some eggs. Um, we are going to buy and replenish the fertilizer in our greenhouses. And I'm going to run over here and say we have a full pallet of honey. We do not. Okay, so we'll let that continue on. And then after that, uh, we might sleep until... Um, August 1st, because there isn't really anything else to do. Um, there is in here that that crone baler is still there. I would so much like to have that, but the only way we could get that is if we took out a, even more loans. Um, this would be really nice to have too, the, those big trailers there. But yeah, uh, it's just outside of our means right now. I, I don't I don't want to take loans unless it's absolutely necessary. And we already owe the bank two, $200,000 anyways. I've never actually paid them back. I do intend to do so at some point, but, you know, we got to keep that money working for us right now. So, uh, yeah, so we got uh, some more lettuce here. I've, I've already loaded up um, from the first two days, July 1st and 2nd, on the trailer. So we just have... Uh, today's to do and if we look at the fertilizer here this is at 266 liters 291 and this one is a uh, thousand and one liters okay so these two are low but i'm probably going to buy enough fertilizer to fill all of them all the way up i'm thinking and then um i, I believe the last time we did that now that i think about it it was november so, so that would have, I don't remember if we did that at the beginning of November or the end, but if we did it at the end, which I think we did it in November, so that would be December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay. So that's eight months ago that we filled these guys up and this, uh, and, and, you know, two of them were running um, strawberries and tomatoes and consuming the fertilizer faster than even the lettuce was when we switched over to lettuce. The reason this one has more in it is because I, I put some more in that one because it was actually the lowest from the tomatoes. Um, so yeah, that, that means we know we can get by with, um, eight plus months before we even have to, you know, before we have to replenish the fertilizer. Um, so that's really good to know. Uh, so we got to get that done today, and then, uh, like I said, we'll see where we're at, but we'll probably end up sleeping uh, until August 1st. Now, i got a couple other things to show you. I installed some more mods here, so let's look at those really quick. Um, what did we put on here? Um, do I have to save the game before those show up? Well, let's go ahead and do that. Now, huh, I wonder why they don't show up on the in this list here. Let's uh, quit out for a second and uh, take a look and see what's going on here. So if we go here, I have, and keep in mind too, some of these mods that you guys see in here are, are for the multiplayer servers. I don't have them enabled on the single player. There's a lot of logging stuff in here, for example. But um, what did we get? M uh, manual refueling. Okay, so this isn't quite as sophisticated as Gold Rush. In Gold Rush, you have to get out. You actually have to grab the nozzle from the pump and stick it in the vehicle to refuel it. But this at least forces me to get out of the vehicle to refuel it. So it's a little more realistic. Uh, so we got that going. What else did we do? Production point selling fix. I, I did this more for the multiplayer server, but I'm enabling it in the single player server too. Basically, what this does is it allows you to continue selling to a, 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 an AI or a, you know, a computer owned, um, selling point without it filling up. This has become a really big problem for us on the multiplayer server, because what happens is we sell lumber, for example, to the sawmill, it fills up and then we can't sell it anymore. Um, so, so I installed that mostly for the multiplayer server, but there have been situations where 
when even in a single player game where when people are, you know, doing contracts and, and a production point fills up before they have a chance to sell everything from the contract and then it screws them up. So I have that enabled there. Uh, we got real the real dirt mod. This is kind of a cool mod because basically what it does is it, you know, it colors the tires and the tracks based upon the type of dirt that you're driving in. So if you're driving in a lot of green grass, it'll make put grass stains on the tires. If you're driving in a limed field, it'll put lime on the tires, that sort of thing. Um, you know, there's also a mod that also creates more dust, which I was thinking about too, uh, which we might try out. Um, and it is, you know, you can configure the amount of dust. Uh, just for realism, but I didn't want to go too crazy at the moment. So so we're just going to start with these here. And then uh, I also installed a trailer axle blocker. So basically what this will do is it will lock a dolly uh, so that you can back up the trailer um, as, as if it had a fixed you know um, tongue and not the dolly. So um, that's a mod that I actually saw someone else on YouTube using, and I'm going, I got to get one of those. So we now have that too. And I think that's all the new stuff that I've installed on this single player game. Okay, so there we go. All right, let's get back in the game. And uh, we're going to get the, like I said, we're going to get this lettuce sell, sold and our eggs sold. And then after we do that, we will uh, buy some fertilizer, refill the greenhouses, and then probably sleep until August. There aren't There aren't any more contracts for us to do. There's no field work for us to do. We've got all of that done. Uh, so, yeah, we're in pretty good shape here. So let's jump on a forklift and get these pallets loaded up and then go from there. Okay, let's check the prices. Uh, lettuce. See who's got the best price on lettuce. Nine forty-nine, nine sixty-one. Oh wow, look at that! The bowling alley's uh, buying for over a thousand dollars. That's really good. Okay, <clears throat> and then let's check eggs. Uh, best price on eggs is the bakery. Okay, so we can the bakery is not going to buy lettuce, um, so we can uh, place the put the eggs on the back of the trailer and do this all in one fell swoop here. Next month, too, in August, our second batch of chickens will mature, which will double our egg production, and then a couple months after that, the uh, third third batch will mature and then we'll triple our egg production so looking forward to that definitely going to bring some more money in for us Okay, let's go make some money. All right, $2,405 for the eggs. And $9,099 for the lettuce. All right. That brings us up to $35,762. All right. I want to try out this um, 
dolly lock mod. So if I have that selected, which I do, I guess it doesn't show here. It's supposed to be the left bracket key. Did that lock it? Nope. Hmm, okay. That's the bed on the back of the truck. Raised front loader arm, what? It's not right. Okay, let's get the tongue on the trailer straight. Right about there. I'm pressing the left bracket key. Uh, but nothing, there's no evidence that anything's happening. Raise front loader tool. I don't know why that's coming up at all. Uh, let me look at something real quick. Trail, uh, trailer axle blocker. Standard input keys, block on block equals left bracket. You can change it in the control settings. All right. Um, and it is enabled right here. Okay. Let's, um, let's take a look in the control settings and just see what it says. Trailer axle blocker, block, unblock. It is left bracket. So I'm pressing left bracket now. And yeah, it's not locking it. That is weird. Do I have to hold it down? Okay, let me hold left bracket. Okay, now back up. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. It's not working. I'm not sure why. It's installed and I'm pressing the right keys, but something's something's not jiving with it, man. Okay, so let's offload all the rest of the water that's in here. And then we'll do the fertilizer and then I'll refill everything with water too. Uh, anyway, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over here. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but the forklift, when its wheels hit this little kind of rock area, it sinks down inside. <clears throat> so if we were to paint this to concrete, gravel, well, asphalt, I guess, would that stop that from happening? Oh, it's not, uh, I can't do that. Yeah, it's not letting me do that. Okay, well, so much for that idea then. <laughs> okay, so that empties all of the water out of here. So, let's look at the greenhouses. Um, okay, so that's very close to being empty. That's very close to being empty. And that is about a third of the way full. So we're going to probably need one, two, three, four. I'm guessing four pallets of liquid fertilizer to fill all of these up. All right, so let's go to the store. Let's go to pallets. Let's buy. Oh, that's right. We have to buy these one at a time. It's kind of silly, but whatever. Okay, so that costs us $12,800. Okay, I think I'm only going to put three of the four in the trailer first, or in the tank first. 
and do those <clears throat> before we put the fourth one in just because I don't want to overfill it either or we won't be able, <coughs> excuse me we won't be able to put water back into it uh, but we know for sure we're gonna need at least three well three plus but yeah Okay, yeah, let's hold off on loading that one. Oops. Okay, so we'll fill this greenhouse up. Okay, that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, we'll do this one. I use almost all of it. Okay, now let's look at you. You have 15, 553 liters. Um, so that's this. Yeah, this one here. So you can take another 1,500-ish liters. That means that we can't load up this entire pallet. So I think these are 2,000-liter pallets. So we have to stop it right at about 1,500 or maybe just a little bit before. Um, okay, so... Fourteen ninety. Okay. That should just about fill the greenhouse up. Oh no, it left forty four liters in. Oh, you know what though? We should be able to actually offload it, huh? Now that I think about it. We got a bump there we might need to smooth out. Okay, so refill trailer. Do we not have the op <coughs> excuse me, option of offloading? It's usually the I key or shift I. We don't. All right. Well, I overfilled a little bit then. Um, 44 liters are left in here. So, what that means then, how is the water level in all of these? That's pretty good. That's really good. That's pretty good. All of them are completely full on FERT. All right, well, we're just going to have to wait um, for, you know, a little while until the FERT goes down in any one of the greenhouses to finish emptying this, and then we can once again refill it with water. But... The good news is we don't need to refill it with water now. Um, they have plenty of water in them for, you know, probably another couple months, I'd say. So we're fine. We are fine with that. So we'll just park the trailer back over here. And we'll store that other pallet of fertilizer for next time. And we're good to go. I believe we're finished, ladies and gentlemen, with July 3rd. There's nothing else for us to do. So we are going to take the rest of the day off. Lounge around. Rest. Maybe watch the ball game. Go over to Mama Joe's, get a cheeseburger, whatever. And sleep, because tomorrow, on August 1st, we probably are going to have a lot of work on our hands. So, let's sleep.
Welcome to August 1st. Okay, nice. Our grass is growing and our new field of grass is, has also sprouted. Very nice. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, cool. That looks good. Uh, our chickens should now... Uh, the second batch of chickens, rather, uh, should now be mature. Let's take a look at them. So, yep, that batch of chickens is now at reproduction. This one is one more month, and then they'll be at reproduction stage. And, of course, these ones are. So, yeah, we are going to see a triple increase in our egg production here. Um, well, starting next month. So... Very good. Uh, what is what's the feed level of this? Oh yeah, we got lots of lots of feed for the chickens for quite some time. Plus we have more stored at the uh, the train uh, silo too, so we're in good shape there. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the sales. What is this? This machine breaks trunks into wood chips. Okay, that's a wood chipper. This is a cultivator. Uh, oh, it's, yeah, it's the field creator version of that, and that Load King is still for sale, too. But, of course, we cannot afford any of that stuff. All right, let's take a look at contracts. Nice. We got harvesting for potatoes. We haven't done potatoes yet. Um, yeah, let's do that just because we haven't done it yet, and we are going to borrow the equipment, of course, because I don't have that stuff. 77 is sorghum, and you know what? We can actually also use sorghum uh, for chicken feed as well. We get 1940, it would cost us 413 to lease their stuff. Though I've got the combine in, on all that. Um, what I don't have is a trailer. We really need to get another trailer. Uh, field 77, let's see, where is that at and how big is it? going to be way up here. Okay, so it's this field here. It's decently decently large field, but not enormous. Um well, you know, it's I think we just let's just use their stuff for this. Um they've got the smaller harvester. Either that or we, we buy ourselves a trailer, but I'm kind of waiting for an unaffordable trailer to go on sale. You know, there is that big load king, but that's that's beyond our means right now. So, yeah, let's just borrow those items. Okay, what else do we have? Cultivating, of course, we just take those straight up. Oh, nice, fertilizing our favorite. And look at this one. This is a juicy 12,000. Uh, we'll just accept those. We don't need to borrow equipment. More fertilizing. Yes, please. Plowing. Um... Uh, that's pretty, that's a pretty dinky plow. Field 55 and 22. I don't want to do a plowing contract with such a small plow. So let's not take those yet. Let's, there's another FERT contract. Uh, cultivating we can take because we've got the equipment for it. More FERTs. More ferts. Another cultivating. Okay, so this one has... It's funny, this one pays more money, but this one has a larger plow. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if, if, if it's worth it. Okay, let's see. 22, 35, and 55. Let's just see what how big those are. So 22 is here. 35 is here, and 55 is here. So none of those are enormous fields, but still, I just don't know if it's really worth it. I don't want to do it myself, A, and B. I'd probably set a worker on it, which is just going to cost, you know, all the more money. Probably the other stuff that we borrowed came in at the 
at the workshop, I'll bet. Yeah, there's equipment over here at the workshop. So, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to take the plowing ones yet. Anything else? Okay. I might take those later. We'll see, but probably not. This is such a small field here. We probably will not get very much sorghum out of it at all. But, you know, even a little bit is is more than we have now, right? Um, okay, cool. So let's see. We got cultivating and fertilizing and a potato harvesting. That one we're going to do on camera because we've never done it before. So it's probably going to be somewhat similar to what we did with uh, the sugar beets. Um, so it looks like this harvester here probably has a topper on it, I'm guessing. And then the potatoes go up into here and are stored in here and then are flipped over into here. So that, that should be fun just to experience something new. But, guys, I believe we are probably out of time in this episode. So, excuse me, I'm tired too. I need to go to bed. So, I'm going to wrap things up here. Excuse me for yacht, it's all right. I'm going to wrap things up here, and we will start the next episode by doing this uh, potato harvest. And then I'll probably just do the furts and the cultivating off camera. Um, you know, just get those knocked out. And I probably... I'll probably use workers to help with that. I don't know. We'll see. I might I, not with fertilizer. I do all those myself, um, but I might do the cultivating too. We'll see. We got, you know, we got the big cultivator and the big tractor, so it's not that bad to do those now. Oh, let's look at our bales too. Are these guys fermented yet? 64%. Okay. 65%. All right, let's go uh, knock the sorghum out first since it's a pretty small field. And then we'll tackle the potatoes. So all of the uh, sorghum equipment is down here. Park our pickup truck here. And let's get... That's a, that's a pretty small header. Where are we going again? We might not need to use the trailer. Uh, field 77. So we got to get down here. So we should be able to just go here, come right down this road, and get to field 77 with this header. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a problem. So uh, look at this little dinky tractor. Okay. We'll send a worker down in uh, this uh, Zetter tractor here. It's cute. And we will bring the harvester down. All right, so let's see. Zetter, actually go here first. Great job. Go to 77 and just stage right here. It should be good. Have we seen that guy before? He looks different. I don't know. You know, there's a mod. I might have told you guys this. There's a mod where you can actually name the workers. And we, a few episodes ago, I was talking to you guys about what should we name this worker? What should we name that worker? And um, so it might be fun to get that mod to, uh, you know, kind of help with that. All right. I'll see you guys down at Field 77. I think I'll start down here, since that end of the field's curved. And this will be our first time harvesting sorghum in the game. Look at the sorghum pouring in through the back. That is cool. 
Nice little effect there. Okay, let's get a worker uh, going there, and we'll run back and get the truck. Get that ready. Or the tractor trailer, I should say. It's a very red grain sorghum is. Any. All right, so that filled the trailer up 61%. Where are we supposed to be taking this? Let's take a look at that. Uh, we're supposed to take it to Feed and Grain South. It's actually not too far from here. All right, I'm going to go uh, drop this off and let the AI keep, keep at it. I created a headland for him, so hopefully he'll, uh, or she, she, he, she, I don't know, uh, will not mess up. So yeah, let's go drop this off at the uh, Feed and Grain South. Twenty-five percent transported, and the contract is forty percent completed. This tractor sure ain't in a hurry. <laughs> Okay, so the dolly lock thing actually is working. I think there's just something about my pickup truck and maybe the attachment on the back of it that makes it not work. But you can see that it's actually working there. And then if I press the left bracket again, then it should go back to normal. So, okay, so it is working. It's just probably just the weird funky bed on the back of my pickup that's confusing the mod, I'm guessing. Load number two. They just gave me a sorghum shower. What the heck, man? <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to actually wait until uh, we have a full trailer. So let's actually take back over. Don't drive on the sunflowers, goodness gracious. Yeah, we'll take back over for the worker. Very likely that this field will come up as a cultivating contract tomorrow. If it is, we'll just come and knock it out really quick, won't take long. I think I'll send the worker down to the mill this time and I'll finish up, finish up the harvesting. Uh, 
yeah, just deliver to the south mill. Feeding grain south. And I want you to come back and just park right more or less where you are right now. Don't drive towards me, you idiot. <laughs> what are you doing? Guess we wait for the worker. Um, actually, what I could do is unloading right now. What I could do is get the potato harvesting equipment down to the field. So that's ready to go. Why don't we do that? Okay, so where is our other guy? Okay, he's almost back to the field. Select you, create job, go to potato field, stage right here. That looks like Sophie. Okay, and then we will drive the harvester. Look at this big old thing, man. Cool. I'm gonna drive out in the lime and see if our wheels turn white from that mod. It doesn't look like they are. I want doesn't look like that mod's working. Look like they have a little bit of white stuff on. Oh, look at the steering on this. That's cool. Maybe you have to be out in the field longer. Here I am just driving out in this field. Oh, yeah, they're starting to turn white. Okay. Uh, where's the sun? Let's get out in the light so we can see. Oh, yeah, that's cool. All right. In the real world, they would have turned white a lot sooner than that, but that's okay. At least the mod's actually working. I like it. Great job. Uh, yep, yeah, just go. You're good to go. You already got all your instructions. Oops, I keep hitting the wrong button. Here he comes driving right towards me again. What a numbskull. Don't drive over the crop. What's the matter with you, man? A 
Okay, we'll let the AI finish up there. And we're going to start this beast up. So, how do we do this? Um, unfold that. Yeah, yeah, just hold your horses. Look at this monster, man. This is awesome. <laughs> okay. I have never harvested potatoes before. This will be our first time. It's the topper. There's the potatoes. Here comes the spuds. That's neat. Neat stuff. Oop. I just want to look at it. Look at the potatoes falling down in slow motion. That's funny. Oh, we even have, like, cameras in here. They're not actually functioning, but that's pretty cool. Fancy schmancy. Neat stuff. Okay. Let's, uh, we might have to take out that sign. It's kind of right in the way, but we'll see. Nope, we cleared it. What an interesting machine. Pretty much just mulches the tops and then has a digger component right after the mulching that digs up the spuds and sends them up the conveyor line there. One thing I've noticed about these uh, root harvesters, root crop harvesters, potato, sugar beet, so they don't have very large headers. That's probably just so much going on with them that if they make them too big, they have too many issues, perhaps. I don't know. That would be my guess, anyway. We'll get to the end of the the field over here, and then I'll turn this over to the AI so I can go finish out the sorghum.
All right, go to it, man. He's going to actually fill up pretty quickly here. Okay, so the combine is done. We have 88% left in the combine. That should be all of it. Yep. Okay. So, let's um put this away. And I think we're done with the harvester. We're going to leave it in the field. I'm not using uh, the this farmer's equipment for other jobs, so I'm not obligated to refuel or wash them. Uh, so we'll go d drop the rest of this grain off, and uh, you know what? We're going to have to load. Let's get the first load of potatoes going first. And hopefully I have... You know, I'll have a little bit of this left over, hopefully enough to top off our chicken silo, chicken feed silo. But we're not going to get a ton, nothing like we did on that wheat harvest. Okay, here we go. Load up them spuds. That's it. Completely full. Wow. Okay. Does this have a... This doesn't have a cover. All right. Where are we supposed to be taking the potatoes? The taters. We're supposed to be taking those to Johnson's. Okay. So let's get you... Uh, create job. I want you to deliver to Johnson's Farmer's Market and come back and just stage right here. Go to it, man. There he goes. All right, nice. Okay. Let's get the sorghum uh, contract finished. All right, how close are we to finishing this contract? Let's take a look. 97%. Okay, here we go. Done. All right, so that still leaves us 1,620 liters of sorghum that we can give to our chickens. So let's uh, run that, run this by the house, and then we'll turn in this contract and be done with it. Yep, it took it all. All right, what did that do for our chickens? Darn near, yeah, it filled it up all the way. It's 100%. Or close enough to 100% anyway. Okay, let's lock the axle. Oh, trailer must be straight to activate. Okay. Now we can at least, should be able to at least back up. Whoa. No, I didn't want you to go that way, man. The camera completely screwed me up there. There we go. It does kind of make things behave a little bit odd with the, the trailer, but it works well enough. Okay, we are finished with the sorghum contract, and we were able to fill up our chicken coop. Our 
chicken coop silent. Uh, not bad. So let's turn this one in. Uh, harvesting completed. There we go. All right. Let's see. You are... You're full again. My goodness. Okay. You're coming back from Johnson's. Okay. Well, while that's happening, I'm going to get geared up to get some fertilizing and cultivating going. But you know what, guys? We are out of time in this episode. So I'm going to finish up the spuds, work on the fertilization and the cultivation. And then um, probably sleep until August 3rd. And I probably won't bring you guys back until August 3rd unless, of, of course, again, I have a compelling reason to do so. And then on the 3rd, we'll sell our produce as usual and our eggs. And then when September 1st rolls around, uh, we will be able to, to do our hay and we'll probably uh, have some uh, haying contracts to do too, maybe, unless that's October. I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.